Hey, how's your day? Sometimes we're taking pictures or selfies or family photos, and somebody in the picture is looking like this. Well, we can fix that. The picture is not a total write off. I'll show you how to use the NeuroFilter Smart Portrait and what I like to call a double shot. No, not like this. Well, well maybe, okay. Plus, I'll show you a few masking tricks that we can use to get exactly what we're looking for to make your pictures the best they can be. Let's go. All right, we got this great picture of the boys here, but oh, one of them's not looking at the camera. So let's go right into it here. Let's turn this layer into a smart object so we can make changes later. And we'll go to filter, neural filters. Now in here, you can see that he's already chosen by the blue box around him. So let's hit Smart Portrait. Now, let's take eye direction and move it all the way to the opposite way the eyes are looking. And it'll process it in the cloud. And so far, so good. I like how this one's working here. This eye, maybe not so much, but this is the cool part. So let's hit OK. Now we'll create a stamp visible layer and make that a smart object as well. Now let's go in for the double shot. Go back, neural filters, and we'll go back to smart portrait again, turn it on and make the eye direction one more time. Now, both eyes are doing well this time, but I like the left eye in the last one. So hit OK. Now, let's go to the layer mask of the most recent one. B for the brush tool. Let's make it about 20%. What we're going to do, we'll zoom in. Make the brush a little bit larger. Make sure we're painting with black. And let's... Redo the other eye, because I like this one better the way it was looking here. Before, after. Now, what we can do, stamp visible layer again, make it a smart object, and we'll fix it in liquify. Filter, liquify. Now, let's choose the face tool and click on the one we want. And once again, we'll zoom in. And I want to make the eye height a little bit smaller than what it was. And you can also make the width a little bit smaller to match the other one. So now they look like they're matching. Maybe we'll bring the eye size down just a bit. And now they look like they're matching. It okay? Now, the only thing, other thing I want to do is we'll go for a new layer and we'll call it Catch Light. On the left eye here, we've got a little bit of a light. On the right one, we do not. So let's remedy that right now. Just to check, make sure your eyedropper, I got it on 5x5 five five average. Now let's go back to your brush. Now what we'll do... We'll just grab a little bit of the white here from this eye. And we'll go over, kind of approximate on the other eye. And we'll dab to create a catch light. Now we'll zoom out. Very cool. Now, let's make another step visible layer. And we'll turn off all the other layers. We'll group them later. All we wanted was to move the eyes. So let's look before, after. Oh, now he's got it before, after. Now he's looking at the camera. Everything is looking cool. All right, now in this second picture, we've got a great picture of this couple, and I'll show you a little trick at the end. But if we zoom in again, the guy's looking off to the side instead of forward like he should be. All right, so let's take the layer 
and make it a smart object. I'm going to zoom out again. Now, go to filter, neural filters. Now he's already chosen, so let's hit smart portrait. And once again, zoom in. We'll make the eye direction the complete opposite of where it is. It'll process. And look at that. He's looking right at us. Brilliant stuff. So let's hit OK. But what I'd like to do is shape the eye again. So let's make a stamp visible layer. I get a smart object. And let's go into liquify. Now, make sure you're here on face tool. And choose him. Zoom in a bit. What I'd like to do is take the eye height and open it up just a bit. Maybe make the size open up just a tad so it looks like the other one. All right, hit OK. Very cool. But now, the lady wanted her man to have a little more than just a little of a smirk. So let's go. Stamp visible layer and a smart object. Now let's go back into neural filters. And we'll go back to smart portrait as he's chosen. Zoom in a bit here. And let's make his smile a little more even. So let's take the happiness slider and we'll make it just like plus 10 if we can. Now, he's got a, a nicer smile showing a little bit of teeth, but it's distorted his face. But that's the cool thing about using smart objects and masks because we can get rid of that. So let's go back in, hit OK. Let's zoom in. Move it over here a bit. As you can see, it's distorted his face just a little bit, and it's destroyed the work we've done with the eyes, but we can fix that. So now, what we'll do is we'll click on the mask, and we'll invert it. So it takes it all away, but we still want the smile. Cool. Brush tool, floor about 20%. And all we want to do is move the smile a bit. Let's make sure we're painting with white. And we'll just do the smile. Very cool. I'm liking how that's looking. All right. So let's make a snap visible there. I'll put all these layers in groups later because I like to keep them organized. But what we need to do now is we'll zoom out. Everything's kind of off kilter here. So as a bonus, let's hit the C for the crop tool. Make sure it says generative expand on the side here. Now watch as I drag this side here. It puts them in the middle of the shot. So let go, hit the check mark. Now it'll process. Now let's have a look at the three options that we have. It's completed the road, it completed the outfit, the tree, everything. But to be fair, let's check them all out. It's one, two, Three. Well, we don't want that one. Number two. Number one. I'm liking number two. That's brilliant. It fixed the road, put everything else back, the dirt, everything fixed the outfit. Let's stick with that one. Stamp visible layer of everything we've done. Let's turn off all the other layers. And first, let's look at the face. Before. After. Brilliant, just brilliant. Zoom out, before, after. We've got our great photo now. I'm digging it. 
Well, there you go. With not a lot of fuss and a little bit of masking there, we can get the exact picture that we're looking for. If this video helped in any way, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. I'm Don from Photo911. See ya.